today's video and in today's video I'll be discussing um, the Republican Party and why they are in a really rough spot right now and um, why this is a very bad time um, for the GOP especially GOP leaders so right now I have the current Senate map this is just my projection um, from two days ago I think it was over here I also have the gubernatorial map I just labeled these seats um, I think these are right I don't think I have any of these wrong. Um, I might have a few of them wrong, so apologies if I do. But this is generally just my Senate map or my gubernatorial map. Over here, I have um, the statement that Donald Trump issued today, um, and you can read it yourself. Um, it's on political. I just kept just go type up Donald Trump statement into Google, and it'll be one of the first things that you see. But um, right now, so Donald Trump essentially is issued a statement. Attacking Mitch McConnell, um, for the most part. A little bit of it was attacking, um, Georgia statewide Republican officials. Um, but most of it was McConnell. Um, you can read it yourself once again, um, as I just said. Um, if you want to read it yourself, feel free. Um, like I said, it's on Politico. Um, you can just go look up, um, Donald Trump's statement. You can probably find it. Um, it was very interesting. I read it, um so I could get a little bit more context for this video, because I was going to make a video about this, um, unless any news came out, which no news did, so I, or not anything I was able to find, at least. Um, but I am, um, yeah, making a video about this. So the Republican Party, Trump event essentially was saying, if I can go find it, um, that he, I'm trying to go find it, um, no, not right there. I will back my primary rivals who espouse making Amer I will back primary rivals who espouse making America great again in our policy of America first. So he was essentially saying he would buy back primary rivals um, for Republicans, um, like Trumpist Republicans in a lot of these states. Oop, Alaska is supposed to be likely. That's my fault. Um, so this is very interesting. Um, first off, it's not necessarily helping Republicans win in battleground states, which was. Essentially, Donald Trump's um, big real purpose um, from people like McConnell um, to keep him in the party because he was obviously very disliked, but he, he helped a lot through um, down-ballot races because he was able to turn out Republican voters, um, just not enough um, to the point where he was able to win presidential elections, but he did help them in the House um, and in the Senate. Um, but looking at this, should, um, should Trump keep true to his word, which I think he probably will, um, this is a, this is a bad sign for the GOP, um, because right now the GOP is split, that's not, we, we, this is one of the biggest problems, um, for the GOP right now, they are split between Trumpism and, um, Trumpism and traditional Republicanism, or conservatism, I guess, and this is a, this is a problem, because America can elect traditional conservatives, they did not elect Obama or Romney, um, and they did elect Trump, so that was one thing, but first off, um, Trump won, and he got, um, and he lost by a fairly large margin, it was the margin of victory that he won by, which was a very large margin of victory as well, and the popular vote, he lost by even more, so America clearly did not like Donald Trump or Trumpism, but, um, Romney and McCain, had they not run against Obama, could have easily won, in fact, bef just before Obama, we saw George W. Bush, who was a traditional Republican, um, so, a lot of these Republicans are, um, or, uh, what am I saying? A lot of these Trumpist Republicans can't win on the presidential level. But the thing is, first off, Trump helps Republicans down ballot. Or, he did. Now, at this point, he's saying, I'm just gonna primary, um, anybody who has essentially, um, gone against him. Anybody who's questioned him or, um, disagreed with him. And we could see this happen to a lot of Republicans. We could see this happen to... John Thune, that would be, um, fairly likely. Um, I was gonna say Mitt Romney, I'm like, nope, that's Mike Lee. Okay, um, I'm trying to find other Republicans. I doubt it, Marco Rubio, he's not really stood up, or not really, um, I guess stood up to him. Um, not really defied him recently. This, this could happen to, um, some of these Republicans. John Thune popped into my head. Um, a lot of these Republicans, though, it could happen to. We could see this happening to a lot of them. I'm not sure if that's Bill Cassidy or, um, 
or John Kennedy seat in Louisiana. If it's Bill Cassidy, he's going to get primary. I'm going to go look it up real quick. So I just got the 2016 Senate election re um, results up, and it was actually John Kennedy, not Bill Cassidy. So there's probably not going to be a primary there. But um, anyways, back to what I was saying. A lot of this will just be these maps. I might change some things here and there, but a lot of this is just going to be me talking, um, just having these maps up. So essentially the problem is, like I said, he helps people down ballot. He helped... Um, the Republicans, as he um, cited in the art or article, um, I guess statement, wherever it is, where is this? Um, he was citing his down ballot help. He said that they flipped 15 seats, um, and that no Republican um, incumbents lost any seats. He claimed that he single handedly saved at least 12 seats, and he also talked about how Republicans won majorities in at least 59 of the 98 partisan legislators. So that was, um, so he talked about how he helps down ballot. We've seen that happen. Um, he does help Republicans down ballot. The problem is, he doesn't do well on the presidential level. And in air, some states, um, such as Georgia, he did not help down ballot. In fact, when he went out to campaign in Georgia, he negatively affected them. He, it was, it was bad for them. Like, Trump, I, I think that Trump may have single-handedly lost, not single-handedly, but Trump, was, or maybe single-handedly, because I don't think, I think that, um, him being in Georgia might not have lost them the seats, but him, um, but his presidency may have been, went, really pushed Georgia over the edge, and what could have flipped Georgia. So, we've seen that he helps down ballot in some states, but not down ballot in other states, and it's really this thing where the Republicans can or Republican leaders, I guess, because the Republican base loves Trump. Last time I checked, he had an 87% approval rating among Republicans. And that that's another big problem that I'll get to in a minute um, for the GOP. But these, um, a lot of these Republicans, sorry, my mic just fell. Um, that audio was probably really bad. So I am sorry about that. That was um, bad. Sorry about that. But um, Trump, um, where was I? He, um... Helps Republicans down ballot in some states, but not down ballot in other states. So the GOP, if, if Republican leaders had the option to forget about Trump, which they don't, but if they did, um, they would really be juggling a, like, sh trying to win the presidency and the Senate and the House, which is a possibility, but it could be hard, and this and that, or between, we're most likely going to do well in the House, probably going to do pretty well in the Senate, we're probably going to lose the presidency, because that's... Well, it will probably come down to um, if they had that option. But the thing is, they don't. Most, like, on the on the presidential level, there's not a Republican who can win the primary and win the presidential election. There's not a Republican who can do it, except for maybe Ron DeSantis. Maybe DeSantis in 2020, probably not in 2024. But um, there's there are Republicans who can win on the presidential level and Republicans who can win in the primaries. Like I said, DeSantis is the only real one who can actually, um, who can actually win on the presidential level. Like... We've, um, there are Republicans, like, I made a video about this a while ago, on why the GOP needed to run a moderate, and I made, I did essentially an election scenario of Charlie Baker run, and it was close between him and Kamala Harris, not thinking about it, um, he probably still would have won Michigan and Pennsylvania, um, and could have done very well in some other states that I didn't take into account, but, um, the thing about Charlie Baker, and I'm just using him as an example, I could really, I'm... When I name moderates, I typically name Northeastern governors, Baker, Phil Scott, Larry Hogan, if you if you consider Maryland Northeast, um, Chris Sununu, I mean, Ben Sass in Nebraska, he's a senator, but now I'm just trying to name moderates. Okay, but um, if they were to run a moderate, like let's say Baker or Sass or Hogan or somebody, um, it would, it, they could do very, very well. Um, they could win a lot of seats and, um, Sass might have a little bit more trouble because he's in the Senate and he's been obviously uh, spoken against Trump um, for the most part. Um, but a lot of these people, if they could, if a lot of this Trump based, if they could do well enough among the Trump based to win, um, honestly, they wouldn't even need to because Charlie Baker doesn't need the Trump base. He has the liberal base. He won by, if we go take a look at this in 2018, he won in Massachusetts, like the most liberal state in the nation as a Republican by like. 35% or 33.2% or whatever. He doesn't need conservative support. He could, or he does, but he doesn't need Trump's support. But the thing is, he would never win a Republican primary. It just wouldn't happen. We wouldn't see 
it would be highly unlikely for him to win the Republican primary. But then there are people like Ted Cruz or Josh Hawley who could do very well in a primary and who could win it should Trump not run. Or Donald Trump Jr., Don Jr., he's a great example. Um, they can all win the Republican primary. But on the presidential level, they they would be rejected the same as Trump. Maybe not um, in some scenario. Maybe we could see, I, I think that Ted Cruz could maybe do a little bit better in some states. Um, I think that Josh Hawley would probably do slightly better. I think that Hawley um, would maybe flip Wisconsin. Um, maybe, actually no, I was going to say maybe keep Georgia or flip Georgia. I doubt it. I don't see it happening. Um, probably do a little bit better in Republican states. So probably do better in Iowa. Probably do better in Ohio. Make Kansas safe. Um, make Maine second, like a 10, 11% margin. Actually, I don't know, maybe. But a lot of these candidates, Hawley's the only one with like the real enthusiasm of Trump that I could see doing um, as well as Trump. Him and Donald Trump Jr. Um, are the only real ones with like the same enthusiasm. But um, I don't necessarily know that... Um, I don't necessarily know that they'd be able to do very well on the presidential level. I don't necessarily know that they'd be able to win um, an actual election because I don't have it pulled up. But um, Wisconsin is the only state that could maybe flip. Um, I'm trying to think of other states. Arizona wouldn't flip. Georgia probably wouldn't flip. Pennsylvania probably wouldn't flip. So if they flip Wisconsin, um, it's 292 to 244 or 246, I think, because... The 2020 results were 302 to 236, if you put it into this year. It's weird, because the 6 and the 2 just, like, flip, so Biden said getting 306 got 302, but anyways, I'm going on a bit of a tangent. Wisconsin, um, it wouldn't change anything. The winner would still be the Dem- whoever the Democrats run. So, it it would be very difficult for um, the Republicans to be able to find a candidate like that. DeSantis is a strong enough suburban candidate to be able to do it. I don't, I don't necessarily know, though, that he'd be able to backtrack all that suburban swing um, that would essentially have been going on for four to eight years then, and you would have to backtrack it while it's still swinging. Um, so it would be very difficult um, for the Republicans to be able to run a candidate who could actually win on the presidential level and um, in the primaries. And that's essentially the Republican Party's problem, because the while the establishment um, might want to run an establishment candidate or a moderate candidate or a traditional Republican, the base wants a Trumpist, but it's it's like, I've, I think I've said this before, it's like Charlie Brown in the football, except for just on repeat. She's still going to keep on sending in people, and it's just going to keep on failing over and over, and it's not going to, it's not going to change anything, and that's, that's the GOP's real problem right now, and that is that they can't run, there's no candidate in the GOP that can win the primary and win the presidential level, other than, like I said, maybe DeSantis, but that's, that's about it, and that is why the GOP is kind of screwed right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like it um, if you liked it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, stay tuned for my next video, and I will see you all there. Bye!